Tiger Lilies, what's poppin'? What's poppin'? What's poppin'? <laughs> what's poppin'? What's poppin'? What's poppin'? What's hey? What's poppin'? What's poppin'? What's hey? What up, Tiger Lily Squad? I look crazy, but I'm about to work out. Don't even worry about it. Let me flip the camera around because I want to ask y'all a question. Oh, they said that working out with a waist trainer kind of is dumb because when it uh, restricts your breathing, um, which I found to be very true, it's kind of harder to breathe. But the reason why people wear waist trainers is to just help it sweat when you're working out also it helps just thin out the waist area my thing is is that i have like a pooch right here that ain't really doing nothing like it's slick i don't know i don't really wear this anymore because you see you could kind of see this that's a little pooch action right there but let me know in the comment box below do you guys waist train when you're working out and do you waist train during the day i try to do it but i don't think mentally i'm prepared because it just feels so uncomfortable but anyways we about to work out you guys know i do at home workouts and who i do i've been doing this chloe ting um workout for a while and I'm on, well, this is a new program. The other program is done with. So I'm on day 17 with this program. And it's the um, Summer Shred uh, Challenge. This was from last year. Um, so I'm just going to do, I'm doing last year's this year. Because why not? Um, so I'm on day 17. I'm going to do all of this right now, but tonight I will be doing day 16's full body fat burn. And then tomorrow's a rest day, but they give you the option of the abs, which I'm still going to do because I want to get my stomach down. Like, I need to get her down, sis. Yeah, so let's get started. So I am done. Don't get it twisted, sis. Like, you look at her workouts and you think, that's chump change. That ain't nothing. Child box. Oof. Oof. So I actually did the whole workout with the waist trainer. I'm back with. Um. So, I felt a little better, maybe because I'm getting lighter. It wasn't that hard to work out. Um, yeah, my back is wet. Uh, but I did find it a little difficult to breathe. So, um, especially when I'm, I was doing the in and out ab workout, I couldn't really do those. Um, but yeah, man, I'm tired. Um, it's 11.59. I usually start eating at 12, 1 o'clock. I'm going to drink some water and hop in the shower and then we'll make breakfast together. Okay, so I just wanted to um, share something with y'all real quick. I know this quality sucks. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm working with what I have. A lot of times we don't do that. We don't do what we want to do because we don't have the best of the best or what everybody is telling you to have. And in this season, I've just learned like creating makes me happy. I love this. So I'm just going to deal with what like 
the cause I've been dealt. But anyways, I wanted to pop back on the camera. This is, I haven't taken a shower or anything yet, but I started drinking uh, lime water in the morning. You could kind of see the steam. Can you see? Can you see her? She's kind of there. Anyways, um, yeah, I've been. She hot. I've been um, drinking some lime water in the morning on an empty stomach, and I just want to read to you because I'm gonna read it off my aunt Google, and what it does is it helps your digestive system. Warm lime water on an empty stomach early in the morning helps stimulate the gas gastrointestinal tract digestion improves heartburn in redu is reduced and it helps in the process of elimination it detoxifies liver liver which helps enzymes to function better that was a lot of words in a sense it just helps you break down the saliva in your um, stomach of course it helps with weight loss um and it says like it helps reduce belly size lime water can make you feel full therefore reducing the appetite the high vitamin c content of limes can boost the immune system and also helps the body to break down fat during exercise thus promoting weight loss so a lot of times people always tell you to do like hit workouts because not only does it burn a lot of calories but it continues to burn calories throughout the day, right? So, um, yeah, I just wanted to put you guys on some game. Hey, y'all, so I'm sitting here just, like, um, doing my skincare regime. And I'm thinking about breakfast. And I was going to make my typical breakfast that I make every day. Hold on, which would be this. But then I remembered I had curry goat leftover from yesterday. Trying to decide, should I finish the curry goat or should I eat that? I think I'm just going to eat that because that's not a lot of curry goat that I have left. And I'm hungry. And it's, I still haven't eaten yet. It's 1.29. Still haven't eaten. So, <clears throat> so this is the breakfast. Um, two slices of the Sara Lee Delightful. They're 45 calories per bread, which is not bad. I love this crunchy butter from Trader Joe's. And it is 90 calories per tablespoon. So I did a tablespoon and spread it between the two. Then I got some cheese, just a little bit. I don't even have that much. It's 110 calories a quarter cup. That's not even a quarter cup. That's like, I don't even know what that is. I cook my food in avocado oil, which is 120 calories per tablespoon, which I probably use 120 calories. Um, then egg whites, the serving size on the egg whites is three tablespoons for 25 calories. I use six tablespoons. And then I use my Oscar Mayer uh, turkey bacon. And this is 35 calories per slice. The serving size is just one slice. I got two because I'm hungry. If I'm still hungry off of this, then I will uh, just make an oatmeal or um, usually I have a banana with this as well and that will fill me um, but my bananas and fruits are gone so yeah that's my breakfast uh, crash course let me have the money in the dashboard max mad could you lost the brick inside the porch goofy with the curve then asking me for intercourse